All right, guys. Well, tonight we are getting ready to install our bulkhead free. This is going to give everything quick sanding all the way down where that bulkhead uh, goes. Wipe everything down with acetone. Uh, most of this had peel ply on it. Uh, we haven't been using the peel ply a lot lately only because uh, really just time constraints. At this point, it doesn't take long to sand it down. Um, so like I said, we're going to do is I'm just going to sand the areas where we're going to attach to. Uh, I'll go six inches either side of where that bulkhead is going to be. Everything's been laid out for a few days. It's kind of the plan. I'm going to prep everything tonight. After that, I'm going to set up all my uh, my tapes, blocks, and those will just be stoppers on where that bulkhead actually goes against. Um, and then after that, uh, Cassie and I are going to probably trace out the template she made the other night, uh, figure out what our beam should be at that point, at that bulkhead. We do have all the dimensions and our prints for that. Um, and then we have to adjust a little bit accordingly. Uh, again, we're gonna get everything where it should be according to the prints. Um, and that's kind of what we did on Bulkhead 2 and it worked out quite well for us. Ideally, we'll definitely have it installed by uh, today's Monday. If we can have it installed by Wednesday, I'd be, I'd be super thrilled about that. At that point, we can start focusing on the intermediate bulkheads, uh, the floors, all the composite angles. Uh, I can start figuring out where all of our conduits are going for electrical, water, uh, all that stuff too. There's a lot of systems that we can start pushing on. Once we get this final bulkhead in place, figure out what's going where. Uh, I can start figuring out what we need for fuel tanks. Uh, that all goes under the deck behind this bulkhead. Um, again, there's just so much, so many different avenues we can pursue after this bulkhead is in where we can continue to make progress no matter what. So what you guys just seen me do is uh, basically just drawing up the thickness of our panels. I took a scrap piece of uh, one of our cutoffs from another panel and basically just put it up to my line and just mark up the other side. Uh, this allows me to put blocks on either side of that panel. Um, when that panel is all said and done, it's uh, I want to say like nine feet tall from the bottom of the hull to the where the roof camber would be. And uh, I really want to be messing around with this one. I like. I want it to fit snugly exactly where it has to go, and just kind of drop right into place. No questions, no nothing. Just make sure it's seated down. Pull the wall in, and we're done. I have a bunch of blocks already taped up from the other bulkhead installs. Again, the way we do everything, we just wrap them in packing tape, some clear packing tape, hot glue them to our painter's tape, and everything seems to hold pretty well, enough where it stabilizes the wall. When we did bulkhead two, we actually did have a few pop off on us. It was the hot glue just, uh, it actually took the painter's tape off the wall. So the hot glue held fine, it was the painter's tape itself. Not really a whole lot I can do about that, but you know, again, this is kind of how we're gonna do it. Uh, when we do get this wall in after it's all set in place, I may, depending on how flimsy this is, I may want to brace back one way or the other, uh, clamp a two by four to it, something like that, um, just to hold it in place. We're gonna dry fit everything before we glue it, and uh, that'll be hopefully tomorrow night or Wednesday. So, either way, I just want to explain what I was doing there, getting my marks on both sides of the panel. Uh, just a regular scrap piece cut off, so.
Say hi, Cassie. Hi. Is it fun yet? No, it's more of a one-person job at this point right now. No, it ain't. Yeah, it is. You do plenty. Who are you kidding? <laughs> Don't let her fool you, guys. She does a lot. She just doesn't uh, doesn't own up to it. All right, so I just want to give a quick explanation. Um, when I put my tape on, I leave it about an eighth of an inch off this line, off my lines that I have marked out. Uh, main reason for that is I don't want the tape to be stuck in the epoxy. Um, so I leave the tape off the line. I bring my block right up to the line, uh, as you can see here. And uh, when I'm done gluing everything down, I actually tear the, the excess tape off to the, the edges of the blocks. And again, just to reduce any chance of that tape getting caught up in the epoxy and uh, giving us a bad bond. Uh, if I do see any in the epoxy, it's outside of the wall. I can still grind it flat, grind it out, and uh, just refill it, the whole thing. So. All right, guys, so tonight we are going to lay out bulkhead number three. This is the main wall of the boat. Um, not sure how well this is going to show up. Uh, unfortunately, we're in the end of daylight savings time now, so it's dark by the time uh, I get out of work at night. And uh, yeah, so unless we're in the tent, the lighting really sucks. So I'm working on getting a couple of uh, a new LED lights for, for outdoor use. But again, unfortunately, it's just what it is right now. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna lay out the bulkhead. It's gonna be the same exact thing we did on bulkhead two. Uh, we made the template, I'm gonna trace the template out. Um, after that, I'm gonna measure from the center point out and then kind of figure out where uh, our beam should be. And then uh, once I find center point, I'll be able to accommodate one way or the other because I know one wall is bowed out and then the other one has a belly in it, so. same method as we did in the previous video for bulkhead too. Uh, I laid down the template. Uh, I found the center of the bridge deck, which is here. And this is actually the center of the boat, not just the bridge deck, it's the whole boat. Um, from there, I measured out what the prince said it should be to the gunnels at the height of the gunnels, obviously. So on my temple, I had made marks where the gunnels sit, which would be here. And I measured from my center point up um, i took a square off my bridge deck uh, i ran a piece all the way up a straight edge all the way up uh, so i have a square line going all the way to the top of the this this form now and i measured off of that mark there out to what the print said it should be um, i did have to shift my pattern over when we glassed this panel there wasn't a lot of uh, wiggle room. The way it all worked out, I, I think we only had a couple of millimeters on either side of this to play with. So I had to shift it over like 10 millimeters just to get everything on the foam still. I'm going to start cutting here. Uh, again, I don't know how well you guys are seeing anything. So I think I'm going to use my little uh, buzz tool or the oscillating uh, saw. It's a little battery operated job I picked up. Works great. Yeah, and kind of go from there. So, well, stay tuned. towards the bottom okay I should be able to grab the top of this and basically just slide it up in I'm gonna grab where I can I'm mostly gonna have one of my hands about here and I stand in this hole and go right over my head with it your end is gonna be resting on that 2x4 okay. so if you can try not to let the 2x4 fall okay. ready? are you ready yep. one, ready two three, three. Good. Pick up the bottom now. Take it to the side. Push it. Ready? 
There you go. Good job. Keep going. A little more. A little more. Put it in the tent. Hold it there. Good. Rest in. Okay. Rest in there. Don't move. I got it over here. Okay? Yep. It ain't going nowhere. Okay. If it goes anywhere, it's coming in the boat. Yep. Okay? So can you see that 2x4 now? Yeah, it's got like a quarter inch. Okay, so what I need to do is, can you reach that clamp to get the clamp off of there or not? Or you know what, you can leave the clamp on, it ain't gonna matter much. Okay. Can, can you hold that 2x4 if I slide this whole thing over? Right now? Yep. You can do that? Yep. Okay, you ready? So got it? Yep. And go a little bit more, okay? Yep. Said, what I'll do is you'll be able to just grab this, stand kind of back here, and just guide it up, and I'm going to hook it onto a clamp in the front. Okay. okay. So you might have to reach up a little bit so I get it tied. Take a lot to knock that over right now. We're not supposed to have a windstorm or anything, right? I don't know. Okay. So, so that's our back wall. That's our, uh, our fishing area. It's pretty big. It's not bad. It's a little, you know. Again, I told you this wall is going to go up and it's going to change everything. Well, I know, but it still is bigger than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Because you've seen you've seen decks on boats. Oh, I have. Remember the Nordhaven boat? <laughs> four, four foot. <laughs> they don't fish, so. <laughs> you want to say what's going on? Oh. Talk. Cassie doesn't like to talk, guys. All right, so we are installing bulkhead number three. This is our main wall bulkhead. Uh, this is where the door will be. Uh, there'll be a window on the side. Um, yeah, so pretty straightforward. I explained the other night on uh, cutting everything, the layout. Cassie did the templates for us on this one. Everything came out pretty good. Um, we do have a gap on this wall and it's pretty hefty. Uh, the plan tonight is I'm going to adhere everything uh, on the, from the port hull, the bottom of the port hull, up over the bridge deck and back down and then up that side over there on the, on the starboard side. Um, the idea is if I can get the bulkhead itself affixed to the vessel, to, to the hull, I can actually use that as part of my leverage to pry against to pull that uh, the buckle out of this wall. We kind of got to find a happy medium for everything. Um, we're going to come up with a setup sometime this week to push this wall in and glue that in place. Um, I need to put extra glass on these on this bulkhead just because of the undue pressure on there. Um, I'm not sure yet. Just kind of still toying with ideas here. We dry fitted everything last night. It looked good. There was one little spot in the corner here. I had to uh, just trim real quick. Uh, again, use my little buzzy tool here. Worked great. It's called an oscillating saw, isn't it? Yeah, it's called an oscillating saw. I like buzzy tools. Okay. Better. <laughs> um, so yeah, anything else? No, I think that's it. All right. As always, we are using Total Boat products. We're mixing the thickened epoxy right now, yep. and we're getting ready to set up installing or gluing in bulkhead number three. And if you feel like it and you are, you know, building a boat or something, we highly suggest going to totalboat.com and entering code. Oh, wait, I can't say it. Entering our code, which entering, is in, in the description below. <laughs> entering our code, which is in the description below. So, yeah, I think you get 10% off. No, and it, and is, a, it, it is a rotating code, it's a one time use. Yeah, and this one is valid through February 2022.
Thank you. Do you need me to hold the side or anything? Box here. Good. 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 Oh, this one right here. Perfect. Looks like, like, yeah, huh? like we meant to do that. Do you want the scraper? Not yet. I just want to snug this up here. Yeah. Recording? Yeah. So, this is what we got. And I'll clean up this up with a sander real quick before we actually fill in all of this. Nice and tight all the way around. Looks pretty good. All the way around here. Slight little <laughs> gap right here on the corner of that strike. That's nothing to be concerned with. All right, and then this is the gap I was talking about on the other side here. So this has got to be, I don't know, three quarters of an inch of a gap. There. Um, you do see a four by four sticking up right over here in the corner. Um, I have, so we discussed last night about the gap, the, uh, the belly in that outside wall there and how I didn't glue it yesterday because I thought the belly was kind of extreme. Um, I've consulted with a few people on this. Uh, the best I've heard out of everybody was um, basically just kind of split the difference. So I have three quarters of an inch gap. Uh, if I can get that down to three eighths with a reasonable amount of pressure on it, uh, I should be fairly safe to glue it and glass it. Um, so what I've done is I, I put a, I clamped a four by four all the way down to the ground and I'm pushing against the four by four to help straighten that out a little bit. Um, I'm not putting a ton of pressure on there. I just wedged the board from the tent to the four by four. And again, I'll get into this a little bit more later uh, when it comes time to glue that in. Um, probably tomorrow or sometime soon it'll happen. Um, but it's kind of the plan. We're going to split the gap, split the difference. Uh, and I'll, I'll fill the gap with the appropriate filler. And I'm probably going to put two layers of glass instead of just one on that wall there uh, just to help support that extra pressure. So I might do one six inch tape like we're using on everything else. And maybe I'll do just a layer of eight or ten inch, uh, give myself a little bit of overlap on either side and just on either side. Uh, the bump isn't going to affect too much when it comes to fairing. It should be pretty easy um, to fair that back out. Everything should be covered in that corner anyway, so... Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, thanks to all of our uh, subscribers now. Uh, definitely a big shout out to all of you for uh, supporting us through this build. I gotta say, my template proved to be one of the best, best ones. Excuse me? Right? The best out of the three. Uh -huh. Is that what you're going with? Yeah. Uh -huh. You did a fine job with your template. <laughs>